In this video, I'm gonna tell you the two tests that you can perform at home to confirm that you have ovulated. Hi, my name is Susan and this is The Oslims. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in the past, I have talked a lot about predicting when you are going to ovulate, which is very important when it comes to um, figuring out when your fertile window is and knowing when you should be having intercourse in order to conceive a baby. It's very important to be able to predict when you are going to ovulate. But for many women, it's also very important to be able to confirm that you have ovulated. And these are two very different things. So a lot of the ways that are suggested to use, a lot of the tests that are suggested to use to predict ovulation won't actually confirm ovulation. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the two at-home things that you can do, the tests that you can purchase in order to confirm that you have actually ovulated this cycle. So both of these tests are relying on the same hormone in order to confirm that you have ovulated. So let's go into what exactly this hormone is and why this hormone is going to confirm that you have ovulated. So the hormone is progesterone. So progesterone levels are generally sort of low throughout most of your cycle, especially the first half of your cycle. Your progesterone levels are pretty low. And then after you ovulate, progesterone levels sort of skyrocket, they peak. Um, and why this is happening is because uh, ovulation is the release of an egg from your ovary. So this egg is sitting within a follicle that is within your ovary. Um, so when the egg is released, that is ovulation. Um, when this egg is released, the follicle bursts open to release the egg, and then there is still stuff going on with this follicle. So this follicle kind of closes in on itself and it becomes something that is called a corpus luteum. And the corpus luteum begins to produce progesterone once it is created. So once that, once that egg is released from the follicle, the follicle becomes the corpus luteum and the corpus luteum begins to create progesterone. So progesterone levels from this point on, um, for a few days, you know, if you get pregnant, they will stay high, but if you don't get pregnant, then just for a few days, progesterone levels are going to increase dramatically. But basically, in a nutshell, what we are looking for is high levels of progesterone when it comes to confirming ovulation. And as I said, this is because uh, if you have high levels of, of progesterone, that means that a corpus luteum has been created. And the only way a corpus luteum can be created is by ovulation. So this is how um, confirming ovulation, that's what this is all about. Okay, so now let's get into the actual two tests. So I am gonna start with number one is going to be basal body temperature tracking. And I'm starting with this one as number one because it is the most common one um, that everybody says uh, you should be using to confirm ovulation. So uh, if you don't know much about basal body temperature tracking, then I have a video on that. So I will just put that down below so you can learn more about that. But basically the idea here is that a raise, a rise in your progesterone levels is going to cause your body to increase in temperature very slightly. So to pick up on this slight temperature increase, you need a special thermometer. So a basal body thermometer that's going to pick up a very slight change in temperature um, and you're going to have a sort of a strict schedule in place in order to track this temperature reading. Um, so it is a great way to confirm that you have ovulated. Um, a spike in temperature indicates that progesterone levels are higher uh, but for some women including myself tracking basal body temperature just using a digital thermometer that you stick under your tongue or whatever, just using that alone um, has always been very difficult for me because you do need such a strict schedule. So there are a variety of different things that can change your temperature and affect your results when it comes to basal body temperature tracking. Things like that could be um, if you don't get much sleep one night or if you get out of bed before you do the testing 
or if you um, if you're sick uh, if you're working late at night um, if anything is off in your schedule that anything that's unusual in your schedule especially around sleeping or yeah sicknesses or or drinking alcohol anything like that having sex anything things like that that always come up especially for me I find um, are definitely going to affect your basal body temperature readings. There are certain products out there such as the Ava bracelet which will um, do do the uh, basal body temperature readings for you while you are sleeping. So uh, if you're like me and you always forget to do your basal body temperature readings in the morning and then it ends up being too late and that affects your results, Something like the Ava bracelet is going to be awesome for you. So I'm gonna link that product down below as well. Um, I feel like if I was going to do basal body temperature testing again, I would definitely purchase that because it would just make my life so much easier. And then obviously it's, it's all digital. It has an app for you. It tracks it all for you. And basically you don't have to do anything except remember to put the bracelet on every night. So that is the number one test to do and the number one test that has been done for years and years and years for women at home to uh, confirm that they have ovulated is basal body temperature testing. Um, as I said, definitely check the link down below for a video on specifically that. So now the second test is, I'm not sure if it's brand new, but it's definitely not talked about a lot. And this test is straight up just progesterone testing. So this, I'm talking obviously about tests that you can do at home. Um, previously, progesterone testing was always done in, like with your doctor, and it was always blood tests. But now they have progesterone tests that you can do at home, which test your urine levels. So as I said, this whole confirming ovulation is based on testing for progesterone. So basal body temperature is basically testing progesterone just by saying, okay, progesterone creates this increase in body temperature. Therefore, um, basal body temperature means you have an increase in progesterone. But now the second test is just getting straight to the point and just testing for your actual progesterone levels. So at this point, um, depending when you're watching this video too, I'm unsure if there are a lot of different products on the, on the market to test your test your progesterone levels in your urine. But the one product that I do know of right now is called Prove, and it comes in test strips, just like you would get little ovulation predictor kit test strips, the same sort of size and everything, um, or pregnancy little test strips. It comes just like that. I will put a link down below for this actual product. Um, I'll try to find it on Amazon. If not on Amazon, then I'm just gonna put the link for the actual website of this product, which is not an affiliate link at all. Um, but I think it is a great option. If um, Definitely if you are like me and you do not like doing the whole basal body temperature reading thing, or you find that it's just not accurate for you, then testing your progesterone levels directly might be a good option for you. So when it comes to this product from what I have seen online, it is definitely a lot more expensive than say buying OPK tests. So it usually comes in a box of about seven strips, which they say will last you two to four cycles. But I feel like this is really going to depend on um, how accurately you know when you are ovulating. Um, so I feel like you're going to have to be doing OPKs or other ways of predicting ovulation. And then once you've predicted ovulation, so say once you've gotten your positive LH level reading on your OPK, then you can go ahead and do this progesterone testing to confirm that you have ovulated. Um, so these progesterone tests strips are not something that you just be, want to be using just willy-nilly unless of course you have a lot of money but um, so there's seven strips in a box and it's about forty dollars per box so yeah it's a lot more expensive than buying opks also the way that you read these test strips is actually the exact opposite of what you would think so the exact opposite of reading a pregnancy test or an OPK test. So generally in those other two tests, pregnancy test and OPK test, you are looking for two lines and that would um, possibly indicate a positive on those tests. But when it comes to the progesterone urine test strips, what you are actually looking for to indicate a positive is just one line. So if you get two lines, then this indicates that it's a negative. 
I'm not sure why this is exactly, but looking on Prove's actual website, this is what it tells you to look for. So yeah, instead of two lines, you're looking for one line to indicate a positive uh, spike in progesterone, indicating that you have certainly ovulated. So in this point, at this point in time, these are the two main tests, the only two tests that I know of at this point in time that will confirm that you have ovulated, that you can use at home. Obviously, if you go to your doctor, they have a lot more options that they can do for you. Uh, but if you're looking for at home options, these are the two best options that you have. So basal body temperature reading, as I said, that is a great option that people have been using for years and years and years but there are if you're just using the thermometer itself um, it's there's a lot of user error you have to be on a strict schedule so it could be difficult to use if instead you use something like the Ava bracelet that is going to save you a lot of trouble but the Ava bracelet is uh, obviously much more expensive than just a regular basal body temperature um, thermometer and then the second test that we now have, which is sort of a newer test, um, not a lot available, so it is uh, probably a bit more expensive than, than say using the Ava bracelet in the long term. Um, definitely a lot more expensive than just buying a basal body thermometer in the long term. Um, but the progesterone test strips are another option that is out there if you feel like that will be easier for you and will make sense for you and your budget. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful for you. Definitely if you have more questions, post them down below. And I'm sure as the, the months and years go on, there are going to be more products available for you on the market. So I will keep up to date on all of those for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you are interested in all things having to do with fertility and trying to conceive. And I will see you again very shortly. Bye.